So we're diving right in. Um, yeah, sorry I didn't post this yesterday. I realized that yesterday was the 4th of July and, you know, we have to celebrate the uh, end of democracy. So um, I, uh, I, uh, I, I made sure to, to celebrate that instead. Um, since, you know, it's probably going to be one of the last few uh, 4th of July is that had any semblance of what this country was supposed to be. But anyway, here we are, my summer goth <laughs> lookbook. Um, as you can see, uh, I've added some accessories because I feel like uh, goth is more of an attitude and definitely accessories. I'm not sure <laughs> if the pineapple is really going to go with it, but you know, it's kind of my staple, so she's staying. Uh, but I did pair it with my black denim, my shorts. This is a bodysuit that I think I got on like Amazon for like $3. I don't know, probably more because Amazon's overpriced for no reason. Um, and then I got these because I realized that, listen, <laughs> If you knew me in high school, you knew that I did have a little bit of an edgier side. And you would know also that I also had a lot of really cool kick-ass boots. But unfortunately, I, um, I wore them to death. Like, they don't exist anymore, not because I gave them away, but because I wore them to the point where they could not be worn again. So the closest to punkish, gothic boots, shoes that I have are these black platforms, <laughs> which, you know, like I said, goth is more of an attitude. So if you're a little bit more of like a fuck the uh, society sort of situation and everything is meaningless and what's the point? Because you know, the oligarchs of the world are taking over and capitalism is <laughs> destroying everything. I guess this is kind of fitting. So here we are. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is my first look. It's a black denim uh, with a sheer lace bodysuit and these platforms, which you'll probably see throughout the rest of the looks because this is, these are the only like shoes that kind of fit with the theme so sorry guys but anyway this summer you know uh I do have black sandals that would go really cool too but I just feel like I need to be taller and stronger you know as a goth chick I just need to be a little bit more in your face you know what I'm saying so I feel like these are the winner for any goth look anyway so yeah all right next look okay so <laughs> Um, she decided she, she wanted to be a part of the goth situation. So here's my little goth baby puppy. Anyway, um, like I said, summer goth, I feel like you need, you need the sunnies, but obviously the makeup is, I mean, that's what inspired this, right? I also paired it. See, that's the thing. Like once you get me started, um, I just, I, <laughs> The things I have is wild. It's just wild. So I have these really cool half leather gloves, um, which I wanted to pair with my leather skirt, which I paired with my lace leather, not leather, but lace uh, bodysuit. And then I have these kick-ass like spider web kind of stockings. And of course, these these shoes still. And I couldn't find I have a collar which is fun I just am not sure where it is which is wild because I thought I knew exactly where it was but I feel like a collar would like literally like a, a dog collar <laughs> don't ask all right just just I used to be in uh, you're not going to expect me to say this but I, <laughs> I used to be a part of like this uh, geek squad situation where we <laughs> It's called Underbelly, and we would go to um, conventions and anime things, and at the time, little collars were a thing, so I got a cute little collar. It had a heart on it. It was adorable. Black lace. I mean, it would have been perfect, but uh, I thought a different kind of collar 
if you get my drift, would uh, fit this really well. I thought this was kind of cool. And as you know, I'm a bling bling kind of gal. And uh, yeah, and I just feel like the creme de la creme to kind of and just, and just make sure you understand that this is a summer look. Gotta have the sunnies, right? Honestly, I'm, I'm obsessed. Maybe I should just be a goth. <laughs> uh, honestly, it's just an attitude. And, um, you know, with the fall of our entire country, I feel like, you know, this is just the way to go, you know, kind of like a Mad Max sort of situation. Just, just accept or fight kind of in the fighting realm right now. But once, you know, the uh, dystopian world takes on, like, I'm ready. I'm totally going to look like the coolest badass until I die. But, but meanwhile, I'm going to look really cool while I, while I uh, watch the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? At least I'll look cool doing it, whatever it is, watching the dystopia that is our planet. But anyway... Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely feeling the goth now. Anyway, <laughs> let's do the next look. I don't, as you can see, I don't really want to get out of this one. I'm really feeling this, but uh, yeah, I have a few, I have so many. It's like actually honestly embarrassing how many looks I have because not embarrassing, but yeah, I, um, well, we knew I had a little darkness in me, so not surprising. All right, next. Okay, um, yeah, so obviously you have to have a sweet little summer dress. Suki agrees, right, baby? Yeah, we love, we love. What do you think, Angel? Mm. Uh, not crazy about the gloves. She's not. I am, however. These gloves, there's nothing more goth than wearing uh, those of those those clothings of those who have been since passed on. These were actually my grandmother's gloves. So that's pretty fucking cool. Um, and yes, I have them. And yes, I'm styling them with my goth fits. She was a very fashionable woman. And uh, yeah, so I guess this is where I got it. If you're wondering what this dangly thing is, it's because the back of this is like a really cool little lace up moment. Um, I think it's really fucking cool. Uh, and I love it and it feels very goth to me in a way, you know, lace, you know where I'm going with it. But anyway, just for the little summer situation, we have the sunnies of course. And, uh, yeah, with the shoulders are bare, it's, it's summer. This is, this is my version of a goth summer dress, you know, how all the, how all the men go crazy for the sundresses this is the goth version of that what do you guys think obviously it's just a very cool little black dress from guess but it's cute anyway i kept it with the um oh my god the spider web stockings um i think mixing and matching different textures and styles as long as it's all the same color and that's the beauty of black is like you can literally mix and match anything as long as it's black and it will always look super cool and chic together um but yeah so this is my version of a goth sun dress and uh yeah I feel like I need a big floppy hat you know but I don't have a black one that would be so fabulous okay but yeah all right, I have one more look to go, and uh, yeah, and you guys let me know which one's your favorite, but let me show you the last one, and uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, is this just, I've just, I feel like I'm, oh, I feel powerful, maybe this is my vibe, I feel like this is my vibe, you know, anyway, all right, next. All right. And uh, for my final look, the piece de la resistance is this amazing headpiece. It's actually, <laughs> I've had this for so long, probably before college. Um, I found it in uh, Off the Fifth. I saw it, I fell in love with it, and I knew I had to have it. And 
it's just one of those pieces that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And no matter what, like I've worn this with gowns before. I've worn it with gowns, <laughs> but you know, it's nothing like having a dead bird on your head. <sighs> How goth. Uh... <laughs> okay, but honestly, like this is kind of reminiscent of what happened to me in Aruba. So it's a little traumatizing, but we're gonna get through it. What, what's more traumatizing than a goth person? So there we go. Uh, but yeah, so I paired it with um, this flowery body bodysuit and I changed the stockings for uh, another different kind of <laughs> spider web, uh, but it's more floral, I guess you could say. Um, I went with a gold chain. I changed the necklace. I thought this was kind of, you know, black and whatever. Put on my cool gloves because I just, I love them. And of course, you know, summer, so you need the sunnies. Oh, and I changed the shoes. Yay! So these are my black um, stilettos that are also probably from high school. Everything old that's new. Yay! Also, honestly, though, like, let's be honest. Um, goth is never out of style because it's its own style. Do you understand what I mean? I guess, like, there's like subsects of goth, you know, we have punk, we have emo, we have, I guess, is e-girl kind of, like a little bit, sort of, more like a pastel kind of situation. Lolita can kind of play into that a little bit. Um, but yeah, goth is like just, she's iconic, what can I say? Uh, and I feel like we all have a little bit of a goth in us, and so... Uh, I hope this inspired you. I had a fucking blast. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. I, I would say I'm embarrassed with the amount of stuff that I have that is goth cosplay. But let's be honest, this is, uh, it's who I am. So <laughs> it kind of just goes without saying. Like, I didn't choose just black clothing. I obviously have things that are goth inspired because let's be frank like goth is so iconic it just is you can't go wrong with black and um and goth in the summer is such a vibe so this is my goth in the summer i was gonna give you a bikini but i was like <laughs> don't be ridiculous a goth in the beach um but then i also realized that i do have like a goth like kind of look for the beach but Maybe for another time. But anyway, I hope you had an amazing day. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite look. Um, and if you have any other kind of looks that you would like to see. Uh, Summer Goth obviously is uh, <laughs> it's definitely a vibe. Um, but if you have any other ideas, please let me know. I love doing this. I love creating with what I have. Going into my closet and being like, oh my God. <laughs> Why can I do this so easily? But, you know, that's that's just the nature of somebody who's obsessed with fashion and all different kinds of fashion. So here we are. Um, but again, I do have some ideas that are fashion related that I kind of want to steer us into. Um, not just, you know, my life, not just makeup, but, you know, like just purely fashion. But let me know uh, what you think. Let me know which one's your favorite. Let me know if you have any other uh, ideas that you would like to see. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We are growing every day. I see the number count going up, which is so wild because yeah, somebody uh, just recently said to kind of uh, keep creating for the people that are watching you now. And what I've been doing is lifestyle and it's not just fashion based, but it's it's my life, you know, not just travel, not just makeup, not just fashion, but it's my life. And and I and I understand that I should also create for, you know, the base that has followed me up until now and I love that, but it is a lot of work and it would be nice to have a few days off. So I mean, I'll still post, but I'm thinking maybe just like shorts or something. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, thank you for spending time with me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you tomorrow.
until next time.